but there's someone getting married just by there. How amazing, what a place. Don't get any ideas, you or I? <laughs> okay, so we've arrived at Sedgelandafoss, something like that. Top pronunciation. I wasn't actually expecting the turn in, but I seen it and I was like, <laughs> This is actually my arch nemesis, because last time I was here, I crashed a drone into a river and Amy was fuming. But it's the same drone, so hopefully she's not scared of a waterfall again. She's like, uh, ah! <laughs> you bring back terrible memories for her. I know. Strong fly for us. But somebody's getting married over there! That is so cute and her dress looks amazing. Coolest thing about this waterfall is that you can actually go behind it. Let's go see. Sell Jalan's boss. Oh, cakes and pastry. Let's go, Craig. Bloody incredible. So she's only got bloody jeans on under that wedding dress. Fake, innit? It's a bloody photo shoot. Told you. Get married, you waste the time. I was ready to go up and like hug them and be like, wish them well with their future and stuff. <laughs> I think you're too fat to do that. I nearly stab my wrist. Look at this guy. So I swap cuts for Craig. Look at the sleeve action. <laughs> We're going, going in. in. It's bloody massive and it's proper wet. Start of the day! <laughs> <laughs> Drone intact. What's next, Hang kid? On. What day is it? Thursday. Friday. A Friday. Why, what happens on Fridays? No, I'm just saying, this doesn't usually happen on Fridays, so. <laughs> just your average Friday, just waking up, driving to a waterfall. Safe as. Safe as you like. So, yeah, the next stop is Skogafoss, which was supposed to be the first stop, but we got it wrong. Like that. So, to Skogafoss. Where she blows! This is the main one that people come to, I think. A lot more people know about this one. You can walk all the way up here, all the way to the top. But that just ain't gonna happen. So lazy. If you stop at any petrol station, get the roast beef sandwich. It's so good, it's like a gourmet. I thought it was gonna be dry and crap, but. They know how to do it in Iceland. You want that whiskey? You mean have that whiskey again? Craig told me yesterday that he's got an old friend that he used to work with that her friend in Iceland actually rents out her goats to Game of Thrones. How cool is that? <laughs> like, what, but what do you charge for that kind of thing? Like, her goats, her four goats, is it a family? Are they better looking? Do they cost more money because they're better looking? Do you know what I mean? Is their lunch free? Do you have to pay for their hair and makeup? Do they get a lunch break? And do the goats actually see any of this money? Like, do they get Christmas presents or, you know, is it in their savings bonds or something? <laughs> Amy didn't want to get wet, so she sent it in the daredevil to get a bit closer. Come with me. Oh my god, she's amazing! Back to the beast. I could do better. Beautiful voice, kid. <laughs> We're here. What's this place then? Spit some facts. Oh, it's called the. Oh God, I've forgotten now. It's so high, so high. 
plane crash. So it was American plane driven by some Navy guy um, and their wings got icy or something so it crashed. But they all survived, which is great news. Congratulations. You're a fantastic pilot. Look where all they are. That ain't 40 minutes though. Time to start the trek. So we've just arrived. It looks like there's some sort of maintenance going on. Oh, or a film crew or something. Yeah, so we don't know what's going on. Well, we're gonna find out now. a mighty mission. I think I've broken my groin. <laughs> it's like 45 minutes there and back. But the plane was pretty incredible. Yeah, it was really, it was a lot bigger than I thought. It was just a shame that those people were there because I didn't know which bits were fake and which bits were real plane. There's like props and stuff, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Like a kitchen that inside. Mm, sounded like they were building a kitchen. Um, yeah, so mm. next stop is gonna be, hang on. <laughs> la Loge. <laughs> you sound Russian. <laughs> which is, a natural hot spring yeah boy or a geothermal pool whichever you fancy but it's about 20 minutes off the beaten track so um let's go and relax our bodies quick we need this we need this so bad this. what have you done oh it wasn't my fault i didn't mean to stay in this and we just got cheerios everywhere five second rule quick quick go on then drive Oi. I really don't know which way we're going. So we're here at this little valley and we have to walk to this hot spring. Amy's shitting herself because she doesn't know where it is, but it's probably just around the corner. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk. And obviously I put the orange hat on this time because if Craig falls in and splashes me in the face again, then I'm protected. <laughs> there seems to be people coming from that away. So I think we're going to go that away. We'll find it, we'll find it, come on. There's not drift though with a plastic bag. Morrison's, you have to pay six p for these. Look at here, mum. Look at here. The only problem is our bathers are still wet from the other day. This is nuts, though. Like, where else in the world can you just walk into a, like a massive valley with snow-capped mountains? And it's just a natural little hot spring for you to just have a dip in. We brought some little champers to have a sip before we enjoy the view, because it's been an hard day. That walk nearly killed us off. Ah! Oh my god! Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> You're blind, you are. Please. <laughs> Put that rock there. I know I got you a bomb. <laughs> Whoa. It's a big one. It looks warm. So this is the little Hi. shack. We're gonna get your little bum out, show everyone. <laughs> We're in. Amy forgot my shorts, so I'm wearing my fing pants. <laughs> There, bro. <laughs> We're in the deep end. Look, it's so deep. I feel like he's gonna get bugs in his ears when he does that. The pool itself is just like a loopy warm type of thing, but we found the corner where it's proper warm. This must be like the hot tap or something because it's lush by you.
a bit busy, so we're leaving. It's a nice little swim, though. Come on, kid. Can you swim, yeah? Ah, yeah, I just kicked it. I think we came at the right time. We're just leaving now, and everyone's just come. We're so unsociable, Craig. <laughs> it's happened. We're stuck. Amy thought it would be a good idea to drive onto a beach. And now we're about two foot under the sand. You were actually really funny because it was you that told me to drive onto the beach. Yeah, but there was a path. There was a path to drive on. This, this is the current situation. Well, I've dug out a little hole. I've got this bit of wood. I've got no idea if it's going to work, but... So we, we did it, and then to try and get out, we obviously just went full throttle, and then I just Googled it, and that's the worst thing you can do, so fantastic. I built a little ramp for the one tyre. But the other tyre is a bit deep, so I don't know what's going to happen. She's in there, so... We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, don't put the throttle on, just go nice and slow. That's it, slowly does it. That's just got nothing to grip onto, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Nah. King of it. Rule your own world. world.